Hi guys, here is JNM and this is the next part on creating a room with Blender for Unity 5. In the last video I showed two possibilities or two methods on creating the walls for the room. The first one is the traditional way by adding cubes and extruding out the walls. And the second one was using planes, extrude out edges to build the walls of the room and then add a solidify modifier to add the thickness to the walls. But this method has a drawback. Now I want to show you what happens if I extrude out a new plane from an existing edge that is shared now by three wall parts. Here you can see how the thickness of the wall is affected and how the solidify modifier isn't able in my opinion to cope with this situation. Of course you could duplicate this edge but this wouldn't lead to a really good geometry. So I decided to use the first approach. In this tutorial I want to start to create the ceiling for this room but as you know we have this spiral stairs model that will lead to the second floor and I will append it now to this project to know what's a matching location for these stairs and I will scale it down okay like that and then I will add it here to this left corner and add a new wall part by adding two edge loops then I will scale them so that the thickness of this wall is around 17 centimeters. It doesn't have to be exactly this size. Then I switch to face selection mode and extrude out the wall part here from these faces, from these two faces. Yeah, I think that's a good position. And now press E to extrude out this part and I switch again to uh, snapping to the grid to absolute grid snapping and snap the end of this wall part to the grid okay that looks really cool now let's move this spiral stairs close to this wall Okay, and then I will start to add the ceiling. And let's add another edge loop to this wall here. And then I will select these two edges, press F, to create the first part of this ceiling. Then I select the stairs again, press R, then C, and rotate it just a little bit around the z-axis. Okay, and then let's create the other parts of the ceiling. For this room here, select all these edges and then press Alt-F to create this ceiling. And for the other parts of the ceiling, I'm going to add some edge loops. One here, side of the door, and I will snap it to the edge of this wall part I just added and then another edge loop at the right side of the door. I snap this one to the wall of the opposite side okay and now I'm going to select the edges for the ceiling with edge selection and press F to create the faces for these parts. That was the first one and then the one on the right. Press Alt F and here is the second part. Okay, that's the basic geometry for this room and now let me show you some details about normals. 
that's really important when it comes to exporting this model to Unity 5. Let's have a look at the direction of the normals. You can enable the display of the normals here with this little icon and the direction of the normals for the ceiling parts should point downwards because otherwise when you walk with your FPS player in this room around you would see through these ceiling parts. For example this part here points upwards so I have to choose flip normals so that they again point downwards. And you have to do this for all the faces of the ceiling that doesn't point downwards. And once you're done with that, you can export your model as FBX. I do this now, export, FBX, selected objects, and I choose the name Room 1. And in Unity 5, the model should be updated. Yes, here it is. Looks great. And you can watch through the ceiling from the outside. But when I walk here with my FPS player through this room, you can see that the ceiling is opaque. And this is because our normals are set correctly. Alright, that was the second part on creating a room with Blender for Unity 5. In the next one we are going to create more properties and assets to bring this room and this level more and more to life. Thanks a lot for watching, please subscribe to my channel and I really hope to see you soon here back on JNN.